good morning children welcome back to the chemistry class in the previous class we discussed about covalent bond formation covalent bond formation what is covalent bond a bond formed between two atoms by sharing of one pair of two pairs of electrons why do atoms combine why do they share electrons why they need exchange of electrons to become stable to obtain octet in the case of hydrogen we say that to obtain duplet so to obtain this duplet or octet rule atoms which are unstable means which are not having their outer orbit the outer valence orbit we call if it is less than 8 number of electrons then that is not stable so to get the stable electronic configuration of nearby inner gases the atoms of various elements they keep on sharing exchanging the electrons so covalent bond is formed between the atoms of same element or different elements by sharing one pair of two pairs of electrons that is covalent bond now we are here to discuss about non polarized polar covalent compounds what kind of compounds are called polar compounds and what kind of compounds are called non polar compounds for non polar compounds we have taken two examples here one is the hydrogen and other is chlorine look at this the hydrogen in the first case first example hydrogen example is shown we know the number of electrons in the hydrogen element hydrogen atom as the hydrogen has one single electron what happens here one atom of hydrogen this is another atom of hydrogen both they share this electron one electron of this atom the other electron belong to this atom hydrogen so both from sharing this electron they obtain they are taking which rule duplet rule and this one atom of hydrogen and this atom this both hydrogen atoms are separated by a short line and this short line denotes indicates formation of a single covalent bond see this is a single covalent bond here between this atom of hydrogen and the other atom of hydrogen the short line is denoting a bond between these two hydrogen atoms so what kind of bond it is a single covalent bond and the double covalent bond will be denoted by two short lines if it is a triple covalent bond then it is denoted by this short three lines between the atoms suppose here one atom another atom between these two atoms suppose here one atom another atom this short line is separating these two means this indicates a single covalent bond here the double short line denotes the bond between these two atoms is double covalent bond this kind of three short lines will indicate the denotes the triple covalent bond between these two atoms likewise so these three are away so in this way by equal number of sharing electrons between these two hydrogen added to the radius so what happens h plus h becomes h2 the formation of hydrogen molecule so we have taken this as a non polar hydrogen and chlorine here in the other case chlorine so here the hydrogen atom has number of electron in its valence cell is 1 so one more that sharing and forming this molecule of hydrogen here in the other case of chlorine the electronic configuration of chlorine is 286 that's why 287 so see here two can you see this the valence cell of this chlorine atom and this is the valence orbit of another chlorine atom two chlorine atoms together so number of electrons come 2 4 6 plus 1 7 2 8 is it the electronic configuration of chlorine atom is 2 8 7 so this chlorine atom has got seven number of electron in its valence cell the other chlorine atom also got seven electron number of electrons in its valence orbit so to attain the octet rule to attain the electronic configuration of nearby inner gas what the chlorine atoms are doing they are equally sharing the electrons see number of electrons before sharing 2 4 6 plus this one. so 7 this another chlorine atom also has number of electrons 
4, 6 plus this pixel. So what happens? By shading this frame, they both attain octet. They both become stable. And they form this and this. There is again, these two chlorine atoms are separated by using this single line that denotes, that indicates a form. Uh, there is a bond between these two chlorine atoms, single covalent bond. And they become C, Cl plus Cl, Cl2. So these two, hydrogen and chlorine, we have taken as non polar covalent compounds in this way. Uh, what are non polar covalent compounds? Non polar covalent compounds, equal distribution of electrons or sharing of equal number of electrons between two atoms, maybe identical or non identical. Now come to polar. In polar, what happens? Unequal distribution, unequal distribution of electrons. Of course, the number of electrons may be equal sometimes, like non polar, in polar also. But what happens due to the force of attraction while exchanging sharing the electrons? The one atom behaves as electro positive, other atom behaves as electro negative. Therefore, the overlapping of the zone. For example, water molecule may have taken as a polar covalent compound. Here, what is the oxygen? Water is formed by two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. The electronic configuration of hydrogen is 1. The electronic configuration of oxygen is number of electrons 2, 6. Correct. Number of uh, electronic configuration of oxygen atom is 2, 6. That means 2, 4, 5, 6. Valence orbital of oxygen atom has how many electrons? 6. Valence orbital of hydrogen atom has 1 electron. So now hydrogen also want to attain duplex rule and oxygen atom also want to attain octet rule. So there will be a sharing, exchange of sharing of electrons. Now this hydrogen atom has what? One electron. And this another atom of hydrogen also has what? One electron. So this one electron of this hydrogen atom and the one electron of this hydrogen atom is shared with the atom of oxygen. So the electronic configuration of oxygen which is 2, 6 Having six electrons in its valence part, it becomes eight now by sharing with hydrogen. Now count here. This is the like this. Before, if you excluding these two, which are shared from hydrogen atom, if you count, then the number of electrons in oxygen atom becomes six. Two, three, four, five, six. Including these six plus these two from the hydrogen, one from this atom of hydrogen, another one from this atom of hydrogen, it becomes eight. In this way, this oxygen also attain octet rule and the hydrogen also attain duplet rule and they both behave stable. To attain the gaining the stable electronic configuration, they share, they keep on sharing the electrons and such bonds we call as covalent bonds. And here, non-polar when we call, there is an equal number of distribution of electrons among atoms and mostly identical atoms, like hydrogen, hydrogen, chlorine, chlorine. Here, unequal distribution of electron, and that could be between not identical atom. Here, like not identical. Hydrogen is there and oxygen is there. Whereas here, identical, say, chlorine, chlorine, is in the sharing of electron. Hydrogen, hydrogen, like that. So here, what happens? Now, when you compare, here, the number of electron is this chlorine and this chlorine atom are same. Is it? Here, the number of electrons of this hydrogen and this are the same. But here, when we compare the number of electrons of oxygen with hydrogen, varies no So here, generally, what we call polar covalent compound, unequal distribution of electrons and forming a force of attraction. That force of attraction makes one atom as electro positive, other atom with the compound as electro negative. This type of compounds or bonds we call as polar covalent compound. Polar covalent compound. So we have taken water molecule as a polar covalent compound. And this hydrogen and chlorine molecules we have taken as a non-polar molecules and non-polar compounds. In this way, here also there is a single covalent bond bond. Hydrogen atom, hydrogen atom. Between these hydrogen, two atoms of hydrogen, the oxygen is there. So here again. This is denoted by the short line between these 
hydrogen and oxygen. The meaning is there is a single covalent bond. So these two hydrogens becomes H2 and this one single oxygen becomes O. Hence it is H2. In this way, water molecule is formed and we call water molecule as a polar compound. Polar covalent compound. So this is enough for today's children. The further part of this topic will be discussed in our next class. We'll stop here. Thank you.